Hi there, I am Giuseppe Corcella from Virtual Orchestration and today I'm going to review Infinite Bird Whistle for Contact Player by Emergence Audio. First of all, I want to thank Emergence Audio for kindly sending us a copy of the library to review. Infinite Bird Whistle is a nice library for soundscapes and cinematic purposes. It features a bird whistle performed by the Emergence Audio's founder and multi-award winning composer Michael Vignola. Price is $49 and download size is 1.08 GB. This updated version works in the free contact player and it's NKS compatible. Downloads via native access. The main NKI instrument is called Init and from here you have access to several snapshots divided into three categories correlated where the two sound sources are treated in a way that make them like they were in two different places infinite pads presets with a more experimental approach pulses presets that create a kind of pulsing or swelling sound using the engine's LFO. They are based on the Emergence Audio's very own Infinite Motion Engine. As you can see, it's a two layers engine and you can choose between different sound sources for layer A and layer B. And also turn off one of the two removing samples from the RAM. The two layers have quite a few effects you can use to customize your own sound. And these parameters are similar to both of them and you can also link some of them between the two layers. You have an ADSR here, high pass, low pass filters, and you can work on cutoff, resonance and pen. Expression controls the volume, and this is the LFO, which is, in my opinion, the core of the engine. You can set the rate, the depth and the type of wave. But the peculiarity of this engine is that you have a smaller oscillator assigned to almost each parameter. These little oscillators respond to the main one and you can set how they work on a specific parameter so you can really create an evolving sound here. You activate the oscillators by clicking on these small circles. The big knob controls the mix of the two layers. 100% left, you'll hear only layer 1, 100% right, you'll hear only layer 2. These two faders control the volumes for layer 1 and 2, and the small knob below them controls the tuning. You can also randomize all the parameters, and I believe this is a very useful feature in experimental libraries like this. In the second page, you can add some effects, such as convolutional reverb, distortion, chorus, rotator, delay, and even here you can activate the oscillator on some parameters to have some ongoing variations. You have then a folder called Dimensions, which includes patches with the individual sound sources. You don't have a complex engine here, but only an ADSR filters cutoff and resonance. In the effects tab, you have a convolution reverb, distortion and a delay. Finally, you have some multis here. Let's now play around with this library and hear how it sounds.
It's quite incredible what you can do with this engine. Starting from acoustic samples, uh, you get countless more sounds that sometimes not even remind to the original instrument. The price is really good considering how many presets you have in the library and the things you can do with it. I really appreciate the presence of a randomized button and if you have a complete control keyboard, you have all the parameters set to the knobs of the hardware, which is amazing for real-time sound variations. You can really experiment a lot real-time with it and get a lot of inspiration from this. So once again, I think Emergence Audio did a great job. This library has been on the market for a while, but as a complete control keyboard owner, I truly appreciated this update. It's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to support virtual orchestration, subscribe to the channel, join our newsletter if you wish, hit the like button and don't forget to click on the bell icon to get notified as soon as we release a new tutorial or a new review. If you are new to the world of the virtual orchestration and you wish to learn more about it, or even if you're a pro or semi pro looking to improve your skills, we offer private online lessons about virtual orchestration 
mock-up programming and how to use Dorico Sibelius Cubase and Logic Pro. Get in touch at info at virtualorchestration.it. I wish you a wonderful day and see you on the next review.